<laughs> On behalf of the families of the bride and groom, Welcome to those who have come to witness the wedding of Wally and Julie. Please take all the pictures you want. Feel free to post them on Facebook. Just tag either Julie or Wally so that those who weren't able to make it could see the photos, um, especially Julie's sister and brother-in-law, Lisa and Jeff Schuyler. After the ceremony, we will be taking more photographs um, with Ellie and Jackie, so please stay here and they will call you by groups with family and friends and then as soon as they can they'll send you off to enjoy the cocktail hour, so we just ask you to stick around here for photos afterwards. Let us start with a prayer. Let's pray together. Our Father, we come before you on this holy occasion with our hearts filled with the spirit of love and thanksgiving. We praise and worship you as the giver of life and creator of all good things. As we enter into this service, we particularly give you thanks for the holy union of marriage, the most sacred of all human relationships. We pray for your presence here 
today and your blessings upon Julie and Wally as they enter their new life together. Above all else, we thank you for Jesus who gives meaning, direction, and hope to all human relationships. We pray in his name. Amen. Please be seated. God is the author of love. The Bible teaches that God is love and that love comes from God, from the beginning to the end. The Bible is a love story. There we read God's love for his people, of the love that he sent Christ to the cross, of redeeming love for the sinner, of abiding love for the redeemed. God can also lead us to our life's companion, as he has done with Julie and Wally. He has guided them to this moment, has blessed their love, and brought them together to enter into the holy union of marriage. Wally, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the holy covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her so long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. Julie, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the holy covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him so long as you shall live? If so, answer, I will. I will. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> now, Amanda Adams, Julie's good friend, will come and read the scripture passage for us. and patience 
for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, until death do us part, until death do us part, as God is my witness, as God is my witness, I give you, I promise, I give you, <laughs> having this kind of love in your hearts, you have chosen, chosen to exchange grace as
nations, two nations. In, Christ Jesus. in Christ Jesus. May God, in whose name you are joined, who worked in your lives as individuals, continue to walk with you in your life together. Let's all together take a moment and pray for Wally and Julie as they uh, begin this journey together. Our Father, we come today as family and friends, those who are physically present, those who are not able to be with us, and those who we love, who are now with you, asking your blessing upon these two lives and this home being established. We pray that your love will be a shield and stay for Julie and Wally. When joy comes, may they share together. When sorrow threatens, may they bear together. In gladness or in tears, in sunshine or shadow, may they ever draw closer to each other and nearer to you in that eternal triangle. Grant them patience, gentleness, tender-hearted tender mercy, and understanding. Protect their home from those forces that would break it apart. We ask for health, for long life, for the fulfillment of every good dream. May their love continue through life, and finally, blend into the life eternal. We pray these things in confidence. In the strong name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Remember the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. Let the message about Christ in all its richness fill your lives. Teach and counsel each other with all the wisdom he gives. Sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to God with thankful hearts. And whatever you do or say, do it as a representative of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. Thank you, Amanda. Julie and Wally, today you are at the beginning of a new journey together. You begin today as husband and wife. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and we are so excited for you both. You're ready. Optimism abounds. You're eager to build upon your relationship. And everyone here is cheering you on. This afternoon, <laughs> this afternoon, I'm going to share with you a handful of tips for a meaningful marriage, which came from the scripture that was read by Amanda. But first, it begins with a statement of who you are. You are God's chosen people. You are holy and beloved. Holy, created by God to live in relationship with him and other people, especially your spouse. Beloved, loved by God, by your partner, loved by all who gather here today to witness your vows and to pray for you. What a great way to start your journey in marriage together, knowing that God, that you are God's chosen ones, holy and beloved. So the first tip I have you to a meaningful marriage is to be self-giving. Actively clothe yourself in compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, mercy, and patience, because these attributes, as we all know, do not come naturally. Each one requires you both to listen to the needs of the other and answers with caring. These attributes come from selflessness, not selfishness. There will be days when you will want to give in to selfish ways and not to listen, but take heart and take courage and remember to be self-giving in the good times and in the difficult times. The second tip is to always be willing to forgive each other. There's a line in an old movie called The Love Story that, go, that got some attention. And it says, love, or, love is never having to say I'm sorry. That is not good advice, Wally. <laughs> this is not a line that we should say or repeat or act upon at all. Love is all about being forgiving. It's all about being able to say, I'm sorry. Create an atmosphere that you can say, I'm sorry, forgive each other, and carry on. The third tip to a meaningful marriage is to put on love which I know that you already have. In all that you do for one another, do it out of love. What a gift from God that you can give to one another. God's love binds everything together in perfect harmony. Always work for the harmony that we see today. Remember how it feels today. For those days, it seems distant. Remember to show that love in days, in the days, months, and years um, the fourth tip is to let the peace of Christ Jesus rule in your heart. Allow Jesus to enlighten and inform your lives. This is the peace that passes all understanding. The peace where you live in harmony with God and all people, especially your spouse. Let Christ's peace rule in your heart. May God a priority in your lives. You are starting off well today before God. Don't leave him here, but go and be with him and among those who are also walking a life with Jesus. <coughs> and finally, a very important one, be <coughs> thankful. 
thankful to God for choosing you and declaring you holy and loved. Be thankful to your family and friends who are here gathered with you today. Be thankful to each other for what and who you have been for each other and for all you will be in the future. Be thankful in the little gestures and in the big gestures of love you show each other. Today you set out into the adventurous married life. Remember these tips to help you along the journey for a meaningful marriage. God bless you both together as one as you grow in the in grace as husband and wife. Just <laughs> <laughs> to get to the kiss the bride part. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> Wally and Julie, would you please join your hands together as you express your vows of love and devotion to one another? Wally, would you please repeat this vow? I, Wally, take you, Julie, I, Wally, take you, Julie, to be my wife, to be my wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for rich, richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and cherish, until death do us part, until death do us part. As God is my witness, as God is my witness, I give you my promise. I give you my promise. Likewise, Julie, repeat this vow to Wally after me. I, Julie, take you, Wally. I, Julie, take you, Wally. To be my husband. To be my husband. <laughs> <laughs> to have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this for better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. <laughs> Having this kind of love in your hearts. You have chosen chosen to exchange rings as the sign and seal of the vows you are making today. Easton, would you please bring me the rings? and significance made of precious metal they remind us that the love that love is not cheap or common indeed love may cost us dearly made in a circle their design tells us that love must never come to an end we must keep it continuous as you wear these rings whether together or apart for a moment may they be constant reminders of these glad promises that you are making today Wally Will you take your ring and place it upon Julie's left hand and your
And with all that I am, all that I am, and all that I have, all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. share together. When sorrow threatens, may they bear together. In gladness or in tears, in sunshine or shadow, may they ever draw closer to each other and nearer to you in that eternal triangle. Grant them patience, gentleness, tender-hearted mercy, and understanding. Protect their home from those forces that would break it apart. We ask for health, for long life, for the fulfillment of every good dream. May their love continue through life and finally blend into the life eternal. We pray these things in confidence. In the strong name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, the bride and groom and witnesses will take a few minutes to sign their register. Please enjoy the special music by Julie's aunt, uncle, and cousin, Kathy, Tom, and Patrick.
have made promises of faith and devotion each to the other and have sealed these promises by giving and receiving a ring. I therefore <laughs> that you are husband and wife.
right, next up, we're bringing up the best man, Nathaniel, also known as Nate. Come on up, Nate. Let's give him a warm welcome. Thanks a lot. For everybody who doesn't know me, I'm um, Nathaniel Mott. Worked with Wally for several years, a great man. And like, honestly, what an honor it is to be here, to even be considered for the best man. Like, I look around, there's lots of men here. Tons of them. Only one best man. <laughs> okay. Honestly, honestly, no, that's not me. The best man tonight, that's Wally. Right? It's all about you, big guy. And I'm really happy for you too, Julie and family. I've only met you guys recently. You guys are great people. Great to be here. Thank you so much. All the best for you guys. Toto, you ready? Let's give a warm welcome for Toto. Come on up. Hi, everyone. Hi. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Wally's niece, so I'm Tolu. Um, when I heard that I had to give a little speech here, I didn't really know what to say, because I haven't seen my uncle in like seven years. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know if he's changed, I don't know if he's the same. But after spending the last few days with him, he's basically the same. <laughs> um, he's still hardworking, still very caring, um, still very friendly and funny, and also very focused and driven. So it wasn't really a surprise to me that he found someone just like that, that complimented him and was just really nice in general. So um, here's to you guys, and I wish you a lot of love and joy. And yeah. John and Anne Marie, please let's give a warm welcome to John and Anne Marie. Come on. Hi, Such a beautiful wedding. Judy, you are sunshine in my life. Sorry. Uh, we've often traveled together. Phone calls, messages, emails, visits, hugs, kisses, and laughter, and many talks. And with our Fine Friends app, you're never far away. <laughs> Apparently she's got a new friend and I won't know where she is on her honeymoon though. Um, I admire the talent you have of always thinking of others, making sure I'm never alone on holidays, always visiting your many friends and family. Oh, there are so many here in the room. Wally came into your life with perfect timing. You were so eager, ready for a new and improved future. I want to thank Wally for including me in your love story from the very beginning and always asking about me and insisting I be involved with Julie as much as I was before. I told Wally, this was pretty brash of me, but I told Wally, one of our first meetings, I said Julie was a special gal. And I asked if he thought he was too. And he said yes, he was. And he was honest and he was genuine and he proved, has proved it to me over and over. I look forward to your future together and I'd like it if Wally's family would please thank his parents for his loving manners and just raising him to be the man he is. Please tell them that we're all one family together now. I'd like to continue to share Julie with you, Wally. <laughs> and I welcome you as my second son-in-law and a member of our family. I love you both together. And thank you for this lovely party and celebration of all your love today. to know you. Um, first time I met Wally, he came over to the house and he brought Heineken with him. I, mean, he was a good guy. <laughs> I 
love a guy who has a good taste in, in what fine beer, and he's he's been a nice gentleman, and uh, I'm sure he's lucky to have him. Um, and, uh, it's great. Julie took a long time before she found her the right man, but she did it, so we're very happy. And I'm also happy to see all these people here, uh, some I've not seen for a while, and it's, and it's just super. Thank you all for coming out to celebrating this wonderful event. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome, lots of applause for the Newlywed Couple. Come on, everybody. Hello, everybody. Uh, I don't even know what to say today because I'm overwhelmed today. But first of all, I would like to thank Almighty God for today, for making this for making today a memorable day and a beautiful day. I seen all these beautiful people around here. I thank my father-in-law and my mother-in-law. They were so supportive to me. They're very nice people. Then um, I'll thank my brother, Jai Jide. He came all the way from Nigeria to New York. Even the cancel his flight, he needed to fight at the airport this morning so that he can get to this place this morning to make the location grateful, right? So then I thank my sister from uh, PEI, my sister from England, Captain Depot, thank you. Tolu, thank you. Then um, I thank all the back here, uh, Brian, Lehani, Lisa is now here, and Jeff, we miss them. I will continue to pray for them. Thank you. Um, to all the beautiful people here, to all my colleagues, BNE boys, <laughs> Julie's colleagues. Um, everybody, yeah, you are so amazing to me. I don't know what to say. I'm just happy. Yeah. 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 Then, um, thank you for giving me this beautiful moment. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Julie is wonderful. She's an amazing woman. Yeah. She's so caring. And um, I pray to God that we'll be together forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, DJ, sorry, I forgot the DJ. Thank you. Oh, sorry. And for tomorrow, you're wonderful. Uh, She's been wonderful. And to Catherine, thank you for everything from being there, trying on when I tried on so many dresses, to uh, your talent with the table numbers and the welcome sign. Aaron, thank you, thank you for performing such a wonderful service today for us. And for being here for this week to help hold it up. Thank you to Uncle Tom and Kathleen playing for us today. And to Leanne who helped put together the candy table that many people have enjoyed, especially your son. <laughs> Thank you to my family, to Brian, to Lisa, to Mom, to Dad. You made me who I am today. 
thank you for your love and support and for loving my husband, Wally. Even though I told them that I was going to marry him the first time they met some of them, <laughs> I was as confident then as I am today that we were going to be together. To Wally, my everything. What a wonderful life we are about to have. Thank you for making me laugh. And you will have my whole heart for my whole life. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. How about let's give a warm up. Lots of warm up. All right, now we're going to have uh, Julie and her father's going to dance. Are you ready, Julie? Yes, he's ready. And then about halfway through the song, Wally's going to join in with uh, Anne Marie.
All right, Wally, you ready? This is going to be a special family dance for Wally. Again, it's the last and beautiful thing. Stop Jazzy Kane!
Come on out, everybody. I was like, Rupa Dupa Dupa. That works. All right. Oh, you know, it's a wedding day. All about love and couples in love and celebrating years of marriage. So please enjoy. It.
Stand beside her. Lovely. Sand bucket. Put the, the hot one in here. Oh, you saw that, eh? That's a Thank you.